I'd like to commence with some questions about the National Careers uh, Institute and the National Careers Ambassador, Scott Cam. You'll note that the department gave evidence in the supplementary estimates late last year that Scott Cam was to be paid $262,500 from the 1st of October to the end of this financial year. That's correct, isn't it? Um, and I might uh, just note uh, that this is relevant to our question on notice that's been answered by the department, and there's a copy of that here if it assists you. Yeah. So having a look at these figures, that means he's worked for about five out of the nine months of this financial year with a salary of some $145,000. So in that context, I'd like to ask what work and activities the Ambassador has undertaken in his role since that appointment. Yeah. Uh, thank you, Senator. Nadine Williams, Deputy Secretary Skills. Um, I probably would just like to start by noting that the Ambassador doesn't receive a salary per se. Um, that the, the amount of money that he's contracted for is essentially to cover a range of activities that occur across the course of the year, this year and, and next. Um, and therefore, uh, I wouldn't generally characterise it as a salary. Okay, so um, it's, it's, a, primary, it's a contract sorry. to pay for his celebrity status? Then? So, Mr. Celebrity Cam, endorsement, perhaps? So, Mr. Cam has been contracted to do a range of activities that are designed to raise the profile of VET um, and to raise the profile of careers advice more generally. Um, and th that, uh, that's the primary purpose of his, uh, his role. Okay. So, So as I, as I said, uh, One Senator, person come into his some massive underspend and okay. removal of funding. So as I said, Senator, his primary role is to promote, the, uh, is to promote VET and as we know, um, uh, we have a range of programs that are designed to um, encourage people to undertake VET qualifications, um, both school leavers and also people who are currently in the workforce seeking to upskill, etc. Okay, et so it's, um, can you give us some examples mm -hmm. of the kind of work that he has done? Yes. Mr Hardy. Uh, Senator Matthew Hardy, uh, First Assistant Secretary, Vet Reform Division. So um, Mr Cam um, is utilising his significant public profile um, to reach millions of Australians. Um, part of his role is he will attend events, uh, he'll engage using his online presence. Okay, can, rather than an example of the things that's in the contract, can you <laughs> explain to some of the examples of that kinds of things and that I are think, in no, this that contract. that is what Mr Hardy was about to take you yeah. through. Yeah. Sorry. Yeah. It's just so, you know, I would expect it's events, it's um, uh, social media, but I'm after the examples of his social media posts or his um, attendance at media, no, no, his And I think meetings. what Mr Hardy was going to do was actually take you through, because it's not just that, as Ms Williams said. Yeah. It is actually the influence that he has to bring people and to raise the awareness and they need to oh, take right, Provided he's actually out there doing it's, those things, yes. his celebrity yes, endorsement yes. might mean so, something. Well, let Mr said, Hardy answer the question. I'll stop talking. Thank you. Uh, look, absolutely. So his very first event was um, on the 10th of October and that was about outlining his role and raising the profile of the National Careers Institute. Yeah. And he did that with the Prime Minister, Minister yes. Cash, of course, and Assistant Minister Irons. And this was an opportunity for the ambassador to promote the importance of career information, both when starting out and at key transition points. And perhaps for, for Scott Cam to provide a celebrity endorsement for the Prime Minister. But anyway, please continue. Thank you. Just on that, you do know that the Labor, when in government, oh. contracted him as well, and I'm assuming that you yes, have those Yes, we same well comments. understand that, but we believe it's this deserves some uh, exposure to today. Well, you probably don't want to go down that path. Oh, well, um, we'll determine what path we want to go. Yeah, exactly. Okay. Yeah. Please continue, Mr so Hardy. My apologies for interjecting. Thanks, Senator. So that event was covered by mainstream media outlets and reached approximately 7,362,000 people. Uh, and then what we did was there was further ministerial and departmental social media posts. Okay, so further ministerial what? And departmental social media posts of the event, yeah. um, which yeah. reached a further uh, 12,000 uh, followers. 
Mr Cam is also featured in a video congratulating the finalists of the 2019 Australian Training Awards. That video was played at the event on 21 November 2019. To and more that's than because he couldn't attend the event himself, is that right? That's correct, Senator, yes. Yep. And that uh, went to around 800 people. It was then shared, that particular video was also then shared uh, to a further audience of more than 12,000 followers through the, the department's social media platforms. Um, Mr Cam promoted career development and the impact influences, so that's people like um, you know, teachers or parents or, or others, um, have on career decisions through two videos that we've played at job fairs. And those particular job fairs were on the 19th of November at Homebush to more than 5,600 people. And on the 7th of February 2020 um, at Penrith to around 2,400 people. How long were the videos? Uh, they're, they're relatively short. Um, I'd have to take on notice the exact length, but they're well, we probably. We can provide the committee with the videos if you like. Yeah, yep. just send us well, a yeah, link. We can do that. Great. Okay. Thank you. Yep, happy to do that. Um, in relation to engagement activities, Mr Cam encourages people to share their experiences with the career development system. Where um, and how does he do that? Yep, through the National Careers Institute eHub. Um, and what he has done there is he, there's been a number of views to that particular um, ambassador page and Kelly. this has contributed to a range of stakeholder responses. Around about 1,400 views to that particular okay, page. Okay, so is he actually having conversations online with the people online or is it just, just a post about person. him? Uh, so Senator Grant Lovelock, Assistant Secretary of the National Careers Institute. Um, our engagement hub was developed to uh, coincide with a significant stakeholder engagement process that we've been going through to establish the ongoing role, form and function of the National Careers Institute announced in the budget. And so Mr Cam, in his role as ambassador, has been, uh, has, has been posing questions via the engagement hub and seeking direct feedback. It's, um, it operates okay. in a sort of Facebook style format. Um, and happy to share that link. Okay. okay. Mr. Cam, uh, so also I'm assuming that took place on particular days or particular um, that you've held an online event. So are these are these live events or is it? So they haven't been to date, Senator. But they have not been. Not to date. Okay. It's asynchronous. Yeah, yeah. And does does Mr. Cam actually go on and make those responses himself, or do you prepare mm. them for him? Uh, we're not yet at a stage where we have responded. We're considering the input that we've gathered oh, so and will now. So you've posted some questions on Scott Cam's behalf and, 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 and now you're waiting... ...into the yeah. website with his profile so that there's interest in it to then actually gain their interaction. OK. Yeah. And how, many, how much interaction has been on that site so far? 1,400. As I said, there's around, around 1,400 views um, of that ambassador's page. And how many comments in response to the questions posed? and contributed to around 223 stakeholder responses. Mm. And, that, and that's around the Institute's priorities and what the, they right. should be doing. So on top of that engagement uh, centre, the um, ambassador has also been undertaking a range of promotional activities. So Mr Cam has published social media posts to his personal accounts, which is Facebook and Instagram. How many Reach posts has he uh, yes. made? Thank you, Senator, I'll get to there. Um, he reached more than 113,000 followers. The posts include on the 27th of February 2020, and that was about communicating the findings of the National Careers Institute Career Survey. On the 31st of January 2020, he promoted the Job Outlook Career Quiz. On the 21st of November 2019, he posted to congratulate the Australian Training Award finalists. And on 14 October 2019, he posted to announce his position as Australia's first <laughs> National Careers Ambassador. <laughs> the department then shared these posts through its social media platforms to reach more than 71,000 additional followers. Mr Cam has promoted career messages across departmental websites as well to reach more than 414,000 people. This includes on training.gov.au, on the department's website, on the eHub, and the ambassador's page we've just been talking about mm -hmm. on NCI, and the department's newsroom, and of course on my skills. So, Senator, if I can, I think um, one of the important things um, about the ambassador is the status of VET, mm. and I think um, you know, from my perspective, 
uh, anything that we can do that furthers uh, to promote the status of vocational education and training in a range of settings and audiences is really critical for us as a country at this point in time. Yes, well, I guess if you seek celebrity endorsement for VET, that that's essentially what you, the department, Can't wants to buy. It wasn't buy. seeking celebrity endorsement. I, th I just think that's an unfair no, no. characterisation of Mr. Cam, his background. Um, no, I understand he's a very charismatic tradesperson. Over a period of time and utilising his profile, but in particular his story about what happened when he left school, uh, what he did with his apprenticeship, how he's gone on to have different careers, run a small business, employ people, uh, and become the successful household name that he is. It's about utilising that profile mm. to draw people's attention into what otherwise they may not actually mm. give any notice 